You know, you spend your whole life making fun of Aquaman. And what happens? DC goes and makes a kick-ass Aquaman movie. I'm Jason the X for the Super Cool Nerd Show, and this is my review of Aquaman. So, flat out, I have to say it. I liked Aquaman. Yes, I spent my entire life making fun of a guy that talks to fish. And then DC had to go and just prove me wrong making a really kick-ass Aquaman movie. Look, it's really good. It's a lot of fun. And also, everybody kept talking about they don't like the darkness of DC movies. And they wanted something more lighter fair. This is exactly that. Yes, there are some dark moments, but honestly, there are some truly touching moments in this movie as well. I love the cast. Jason Momoa is pretty much being Jason Momoa, and that's all we can ask for. But you know what? He's really good at being a Jason Momoa. I loved Amber Heard as Mara. I think she uh, she got a lot of screen time, and I'm really happy about that. Nicole Kidman as Queen Alana. Really liked her. Patrick Wilson plays Orm, and he's known for playing some really terrible bad guys. And this movie is no exception. He does some really questionable things, and... He is that bad guy. And also, we got some Willem Dafoe in this. He's um, the vizier for the king and also um, Arthur Curry's trainer. So, really good to see a little bit of him and see that familiar Willem Dafoe. That smile. You know that smile I'm talking about. Um, uh, Yahya Abdul-Mateen II. I wanted to get his name right because I really liked him as Black Manta. Um... I, he's the only one I felt could have used more screen time, mainly because I really liked him as Black Manta. Just, just a good job. I love the effects on him. Kudos to him, especially. So, the main plot of the movie, Arthur has to stop Orm from taking over the armies of the ocean and also taking over the land by going home and taking up the mantle as the one true king. But before he can do that, he has to find the trident of Atalan. Um... He goes on this, uh, it's really a, an adventure because he and Mira travel to different locations trying to find clues to where the Trident is. And I like that aspect of it. There's, you know, we got the darkly lit kind of sea scenes and I really like the sea scenes in this. They were very big, like you were in the ocean. Um, just the, uh, it got a little disorienting at times, but honestly, I liked seeing it. Just a lot of effects, very spread out. Those looked great. But the overall story of them looking for this trident so that Arthur can achieve the uh, become the one true king was really good, and I like their interactions between it. The one thing that I really have to compliment this movie on is the look and the effects, the different creatures, the way just the regular ocean creatures like sharks and whales and everything looked because it was all on the big screen. You can see all the detail and everything. I really love that. The creatures of this film were really good, and I think the effects department definitely deserves some praise for whatever effects they put in there. Really great looking. Another thing I have to compliment this movie on are the fight scenes. They were really good fight scenes. You really get into, like, you get that, ooh, that feeling that, yes, some, it's going down. People are going, people are going ham, and they are fighting. Those, the coordination of those, and yes, I know a lot of it is special effects assisted, but they look really good. Have to give some some props to those scenes themselves. And especially loved the camera angles and shooting in this film. I definitely see some of James Wan's influence in there. And after seeing this, he was certainly a great choice to direct Aquaman. Now, we got a lot of really great movies coming out. And it's going to be a hard choice between some of those top ones like Spider-Man, the upcoming Bumble movie, and Aquaman. But Aquaman is definitely worth your time for a watch. It doesn't have those dark aspects. It's actually a bit of a positive movie. And I really, really liked everything. I can see why this movie was getting a sequel because it was that good. I really enjoyed it. There were some parts I laughed on. There were some really heart-wrenching parts and some that were actually really, really like just terrifying the way they were shot because, you know, that darkness of the ocean and what's in the depths. Those are the things. It, it hit all of those emotions for me. And like I said, this it was a fun movie. I didn't feel at any point that it dragged. At any point I felt bored. So, yeah, 
it's not worth a pee break. That's how good it is. For my final score, I'm giving Aquaman four and a half out of five stars. It's that good. Yes, there are a couple little things, little bitty things that I don't like about it. But you know what? That four and a half stars is well deserved. And um, I'd have a hard time just calling it a perfect movie. But at four and a half stars, I really enjoyed it. And it's worth a watch again. So anyway, guys, that's my review of Aquaman. Go see it. Tell me about it. What you think. Let me know in the comments down there how you enjoyed the movie. Or if you didn't or if you hate it or if you think my opinion is just totally off base. So I'm Jason X. Keep on nerding. We'll catch you on the next movie review.